simplify the expression 28a to the fourth b to the sixth over 7a to the ninth b. So a good place to start here is to just try to kind of uh, break this up into things that we can simplify a lot easier. So the 28 and 7, we know that 28 is divisible by 7. So let's say we break th that apart into 28 times 28 over 7 times, and then we can break this one apart, a to the fourth over a to the ninth, a to the fourth over a to the ninth. So times a to the fourth over a to the ninth. I'm just rewriting what we did here, but I'm writing it as a product of three terms instead of just one term over here. And then finally, you have this last term over here, b to the sixth over b. So times b to the sixth over b. And if you multiplied all this out, all the you'd take the product of the numerators, you'd get that up there. You get the product of the denominators, you'd get this right there. The whole reason I did that is because each of these terms can be simplified pretty easily. This 28 over 7, that's easy. 28 divided by 7 is 4. 28 divided by 7 is 4. And then we have the a to the fourth divided by a to the ninth. And when you have an exponent in the denominator, you can subtract it from the exponent in the numerator. We have the same base, a. That's why I grouped it this way. So this is going to be equal to a to the 4 minus 9 power. What's 4 minus 9? It's negative 5. 4a to the negative 5. 4 minus 9. And the same thing here with the b's. Times b. 6 minus, you have a 1 here. You don't see the 1, but it's there. If you just have a b, that's the same thing as b to the 1 power. So b to the 6 divided by b to the 1 power is b to the 6 minus 1, or b to the 5th power. And we're done. We've simplified the expression. If you don't want a negative exponent there, you could say, well, this is the same thing as 4 times times 1 over a to the 5th. That's the same. That's the same thing as a to the negative 5. These two things are the exact same thing, times b to the fifth. And then this, of course, would be equal to 4 b to the fifth, a to the fifth. Or you could put 4 b to the fifth over a to the fifth. All of these are legitimate ways, but all of these are simplified versions of our original expression.